Welcome to Feed Dump, where this week, we're just chillin'. I'm Netflix and chill, the original and best. Joining me this week is Canasta and chill. After three hours of playing that shit, all I want to do is just get canasty. And surreptitiously adding a box of condoms to an otherwise conspicuously superfluous 1 a.m. trip to the grocery store and chill. Look, I just needed a People magazine at 1 a.m. It's fine. And in 20 minutes, we give you this look. Deputies in the town of Limerick, Maine, decided to check in with someone's Christmas light decoration after his neighbors complained that he'd spelled the word Isis in Christmas lights. That is a royal fuck-up. We're all supposed to be calling him Daesh. Felicis Navidad. Felicis Navidad. Felicis is Navidad. Phil Daesh Navidad. Wait, when you say deputies, do you mean like the sheriff was all, I need you, you, and you, we're all gonna form a posse and go shut down that man's Christmas lights? What was that accent? This is Maine. Shouldn't they be like... And I will go and uh, shut down this man's uh, Christmas lights. <laughs> I don't think either of us have ever met anybody from Maine. Maybe it just said 1515 and he was celebrating something's 500th anniversary. Yeah, like the death of Louis XII of France. Down with kings. Or the subsequent coronation of Francis I of France. Long live the king. The important subtlety that whoever reported this to the police missed out on was that above the ISIS symbol on the deck was an illuminated Santa Claus who, through a string of white Christmas lights, was urinating on the ISIS logo. The man was not an ISIS sympathizer. Well, shit, yeah, I guess Santa would hate ISIS. I mean, the feeling's probably mutual. Real trenchant political discourse. Biting. By the way, a stream of white Christmas lights? I mean, maybe they don't make yellow, but you should pick something a little less suggestive? Like what? Green? Red? Oh, if it's red, he can get a shot and clean that right up. The police have said that no laws were broken, and the homeowner will rearrange the lights to better illustrate his message. What message? The symbolic representation of peace on earth and goodwill towards men doesn't like terrorism? Fine. The school district in Keller, Texas, is reviewing a sixth grade assignment that had students create a step-by-step -step plan of how to get cocaine from the cartel to the street dealer. I thought Texans didn't like children learning about condoms. Wow, I knew teachers were having a tough time with their salaries, but... Mm. When one 11-year-old brought home his worksheet for the cocaine trade from field to street, as the name of the assignment was, his father felt that it was... A diagram in how to become a drug dealer. Oh no, you gotta use the product for years before they even let you move up the ladder to start pushing it. They're not teaching them how to perform a Colombian necktie. I mean, I don't think little Bobby's gonna move straight into a leadership position in the Meduan cartel. Plus, I bet their little hands are real good at tunnel digging. I suppose once you completely gut the science curriculum, there's not a lot left to do but learn a trade. I mean, there's plenty of jobs. The war on drugs hasn't been very successful. I'm just impressed that this teacher found a way to sneak past the Texas Board of Education and start teaching the metric system. A 22-year-old Florida man, suspected of burglary, managed to get away from police by wading into a lake to throw off the dogs. However, in Florida, they also have gators, and that's what killed him. V viewers at home, I was following along just fine, and then we got to the end and the guy died, and now I'm not sure what to think <laughs> about this. He got feared into the whelps? A man is dead, Cam! Not a particularly smart man, almost certainly not a good man, but in some ways, a brave Florida man. The man apparently phoned his girlfriend earlier that evening to let her know that he would be burglarizing homes in that neighborhood, and then later phoned her with a follow-up that he was being chased by police. I would have liked to hear the third call. It's okay, honey, I'm safe now. I found somewhere to hide. It's a little cramped. What's Gator for new phone who dis? The more I think about it, this just becomes a cartoon where he's in his striped pajamas holding a big bag that has a dollar sign or loot written on it or whatever. And he's just running along, being chased by the barking dogs. And he goes down the side of the lake, just right into an open gator's mouth. So there's just unsecured gator zones in Florida. Like you can just be out for a jog and run directly into a gator. This seems unwise. But entertaining. Did the gator return what he stole? A man's life? Gators don't have that kind of power. Unless they do. That would explain why old people keep moving to Florida. And on that bombshell, it's time to end, but until next time, remember, there may be better sources for news, but they don't have this hat, which is not a crocodile, but it's a shark, it's, or a gator, actually, because it was a gator in Florida, because it's Florida and it's an alligator in Florida, but this is neither. It's a shark with really long fins. Um, they're like... Gators of the ocean? Well, they have teeth.
Lots of teeth. Let's go with that. Sup. Since this happened in Limerick, Maine, if I may, there once was a fellow from Maine who thought Christmas lights all look the same. So on one silent night, he drew Isis in lights and splashed it with Santa's gold rain.